As far as I know, I wasn't exactly born as anyone special. I never really knew my dad. Heck, I've never even met him. Hope he's doing well, I guess. I was raised by a very strong single mom. Mom, look! I'm doing it! You sure are, honey. I was a pretty wild kid. As my mom puts it, she was constantly trying to tame a ball of chaos. Whoa! Mom, help! Sweetie, watch out! Ah! Adeline! Oh, oh, sweetie, are you okay? It hurts! Come on, let's get you inside and check it out. Morning, sweetie! Hey, Mom! How's the painting going? It's... coming out... well... You don't... sound so sure. Just a bit of an art block hitting, that's all. You want breakfast? Nah, I'm good. You just keep your gears running on that painting. Are you sure, sweetheart? Yep. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Plus, I'm kinda running late anyway. I'm supposed to give Andy a ride today. Bye, Mom! Bye, sweetie! Hey! hey -o. You will not believe the morning I just had! First, Alvin wants me to find his shoes for him. Then my mom decides to start scolding me for something I did in middle school. Can you believe it? <laughs> Your family is like one of those sitcoms. For real! Ugh, siblings and parents to give you zero privacy. Don't recommend them. I'm telling you, that movie ended horribly. No wonder the reviews on Rotten Tomato are so bad. Honestly, the reviews would have been lower if it weren't for Dylan Sprouse. So real! He is so good looking! I have no idea why he decided to accept a role like that. He is so overqualified. Well, 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 isn't it dumb and dumber? It totally sucks I have to see you two in the morning. Shut it, Cherish! Aren't you tired of doing the cliche bully tidbit every morning? Oh, not at all. Tearing you two down is the best part about my day. That's pathetic. Excuse you? <laughs> if we want to talk about pathetic, we have a perfect example standing right in front of us. Edelyn Wilson, the human mole rat. That's what everyone calls you. I wonder why. <gasps> oh, that's right. It's because you're blindingly hideous, just like a rat. Oh, please. That's not even half creative. I wouldn't be talking if I were you. You're no better than her. <sighs> Come on, Adeline. Let's just go ignore them and sit down. <laughs> You're running away! How sad! You two are so embarrassing. Continue to be friendless losers. I wonder which one of you is going to win Ugly of the Year. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I could come up with something to say back. Sorry you have to handle them for both of us. Hey, it's fine! You're my friend! Plus, she says the same thing every time. So uncreative. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can still help you chime into conversations or something, but... Anyhow, are you ready for your debate with Denzel? As ready as I'll ever be. I have my notes and my argument memorized. But, well, you know how I am with public speaking and just speaking in general. Are you sure you're not just making excuses for any trip-ups because of your crush on Denzel? Which, by the way, I have no idea why you like him. He's nice. And yeah, there's that. But it's mostly because of my social anxiety. I mean, it's the same way with every other social situation. So... Believe in yourself! I believe in you! You got this! Maybe this time things will go differently! <sighs> you're right. Maybe I'll be able to get my thoughts out without stuttering this time. Yeah! That's the spirit! Okay, I'll check you later, babe. Aww, bye, baby. <laughs> You're cute. Don't be sad. I'll walk you to your next period and be with you all through lunch. So don't worry. I'm all yours. Okay. 
<sighs> I wish that were me. Alright everyone, to your seats! Happy Monday, everyone! I hope your weekends are well. Starting us off this class as promised last week, we'll be finishing our debates on Pride and Prejudice. Denzel, Edelyn, would you two be willing to do the honors of starting off? Why, of course, Mr. Gibson. Fantastic! Denzel, how about you start first? Edelyn, you'll counter-argue immediately after. Y yes ma'am Denzel, the stage is yours! I stand on the side of Mr. Darcy. Whereas Elizabeth Bennet is playing way too hard to get. <laughs> Elizabeth is already married. And if not Collins, she has no other choice. She should have accepted Darcy's hand in marriage rather than declining it. Talk about petty and manipulative, am I right? You did amazing! Heck yeah! <laughs> Denzel is so funny. All right, class, settle down! Edelyn? Yes? It's your turn to go up. Um, my argument is about... What was that? We can't hear you. <clears throat> uh, my argument is about... Speak up! <laughs> go sit back down, loser. All of you, shut up! Quiet! Adeline, please continue. <laughs> it's about... <laughs> Jeez, how pathetic! I guess that means I'm automatically the winner? No, Denzel, it wasn't a competition! This was supposed to be a learning experience! Mom, I'm home. Is everything okay, sweetheart? No. Do you want to talk about it? No, it's okay, Mom. I'm sorry, honey. Let me know if I can help somehow. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Actually, Edelyn, do you think you're okay enough for us to have a bit of a chat? Sure. Is everything okay? Well... Edelyn! Um, I'm sorry. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Edelyn, I'm your grandmother. What? But my grandmother passed away. She's from your dad's side, sweetie. Dad's side? But wait, hold on. Why are you contacting us now all of a sudden? My dad has never been in the picture. And that is my fault. I kept him away from both you and your mom. What? Why would you do that? I grew up without a father because of you? I will explain everything. Please come with me. Please, make yourselves at home. What's going on? Edelyn, this is your father, the Crown Prince of Brookhaven, Leonardo James Rinaldi. This was the reason he could not be in your life, Edelyn, and it was because I needed him to continue his duties as prince. He had a kingdom to run, and that's why he could not be there for you. I'm sorry. We never planned on telling you so early, but because your father recently passed away, this was only the right time. Adeline, please say something. What exactly do you want me to say? All of a sudden, I'm finding out that not only was my dad a prince, but now he's dead? You both never even gave me a chance to meet him! And you, Mom, kept this from me my entire life? You made me hate Dad for abandoning us when you know that he didn't! Adeline, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it, Mom! Why are you even telling me all of this? If he died, then that has nothing to do with me! I could've continued living peacefully without this information dump! I never even knew him! 
We never told you before because the plan was to have you grow until you were 18, mature enough to understand. And at that point, you would have lived a good, normal life. Well, you had no reason to tell me anyways. I never knew my father, and I wish you would have kept it that way. This information isn't just regarding your father. I promise it does involve you too. You see, because your father has passed away, we need another heir to take on the throne. Well, you can forget it, if you thought I'd agree to taking on the throne. Edelin, where are you going? Home! I refuse to be a princess, and I'm upset with both of you. I'll walk home if I have to. Edelin, please wait! Why? You kept this information from... I know, and I'm sorry, but your father and I just wanted what was best for you. We didn't want you to take up these royal duties, and we just wanted you to live a normal life. And I tried my best to keep you safe. I'm also sorry for reaching out only now. I shouldn't have taken your father away, and I should have at least checked in. You are my granddaughter, after all. I know you're against the idea, but... Please think about it and reconsider. Brookhaven needs an heir to rule over the people. It's a chance for you to do something important. Fine. I'll consider it. Only because if I do something important, I can help my mom live a better life. And mom, I forgive you. I'm sorry for not considering how you must have felt. It's okay, sweetie. You have every right to be angry. I'm sorry for keeping it from you. Thank you for choosing wisely, Edelin. Once again, I am so sorry. Now, in order for us to prepare to introduce you to the world officially as Princess of Brookhaven, we need to do a couple of things. You need to train and be able to hold your own at Introduction Ball. Training starts two days from now and we'll take up your time after school. Are you prepared? I guess I have no other choice. Good. Thank you, Edelin. Heya! Uh, Edelin! Hey! How's she coming along? Well, the engine is looking good now, and I replaced your rear tires. I just have to make sure all the internals are okay, and then you can take her for a test run. I see. Cool. So, how much will it be? Well, we're not done yet, but I'm estimating around $1,500. Holy. Well, I'll have to find that money somehow. Thanks for helping me, Alden. Yeah, no problem. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. Well, me and the band are gonna have a concert a month from now, and I'd really like it if you could be there. Oh, sure. Why not? Really? You'll be there? Yeah. The least I could do is to support you, right? Yeah, of course. All right, awesome. Hey, I gotta get going now. Thanks so much again. See ya. First things first about being a princess is knowing how to present yourself, and you, my dear, aren't exactly too keen on that, are you? Are you insulting me? Well, let's just say your choice of fashion is rather... unique. To help you unlock your princess potential, I brought a guest. Ciao. Edelin, this is Paolo, a stylist. He will help you with styling yourself from your hair to your wardrobe and he'll teach you how to apply light and natural makeup by yourself. As a princess, you must always be aware of how you're upholding yourself. You are an example of grace, beauty, and elegance. Paolo, I trust you with the rest. I have to get going, but I'll be back to see the results. Ma, look at you. You are going to be one heck of a project to fix. Uh, excuse me? Well, um, actually, it's not that bad. For the most part, it might just be your hair, your skin needs a bit of care, your outfit, and these glasses. Apart from that, your facial features are very well proportioned and are perfect in shape. Uh, thank you? Alright, no time like the present. So, where is she? Patience, my queen. Well... You're not saying anything, and that's kind of scaring me, Grandma. Is it really that bad? No, not at all. You look gorgeous, Edelin. Like a true princess. Paolo has already established a new wardrobe for you to wear daily, so please start doing that. From now on, you must take care of your hair, skin, hygiene, and appearance. Is that understood? 
Yes, ma'am. Good. We will start our lessons tomorrow. Oh, and one more thing. I've assigned you a personal bodyguard. At your service, Princess Edelin. This is Joe. He's a very trusted personnel on my private security team. He'll be taking care of you and providing you safety from here on out. You'll be riding a limousine daily to school to ensure you are safe. Okay. And, Edelin, right now we've made the decision to keep your princess profile on the down low. So, please, do not reveal any information until your ball. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Right here is fine. Thank you. about a limousine when the heck did you become rich all of a sudden it's a long story when you're going to have to tell me right i can't sorry what um okay anyways what's the weird new look what i don't think it's weird she looks gorgeous well she was always gorgeous yeah, right! Don't make me laugh! You used to be so unique, Edelyn! Why are you trying to suddenly fit in with those stupid popular girls so bad? It's ridiculous! Whatever. Let's just go. Hey, Joe. Can you park a little farther from the entrance? I don't want anyone to see. You got it, princess. Um, excuse me, miss. I don't think cats are allowed in class. And I think Edelyn is breaking the rules. Ah, oh, yes, you're right. Edelyn, would you mind saving the beanie for when you're out of class? I... Oh, okay. Whoa! No way! And... kind of hot. What? She's just trying to be one of us. It doesn't even look good, wannabe. You'll never fit in. You're pathetic. Quiet! No more of this! We're getting started on today's lesson! What is it? Hey, uh, I'm sorry for going off on you earlier, but you have to understand, I'm not doing this just to be popular. There's another reason, and I should have told you. Well, what's the reason? If I tell you, you can't tell anyone else, okay? I was told strictly not to release any information, but I can't keep this from you. Andy, I'm a princess. You're a what? That's insane! If you're going to lie, you could've come up with a better one! I'm not lying! My grandmother from my dad's side recently reached out to us. And yes, I know my dad wasn't in the picture at all, but she came to tell me that he had passed away. She told me that he was the Prince of Brookhaven, and she's the Queen. Naturally, that makes me the heir to the throne. She wants me to take over as soon as possible, and that's why my appearance has changed. I won't be able to hang out as much anymore either, because I have to go to etiquette lessons and train to be a proper princess. Please, you have to believe me. You better not be lying to me. I'm not. Well, if this is all true, then... This is so awesome! I'm so sorry for insulting you too. I guess I was just... jealous. I shouldn't have hurt you like that. Apology accepted. And now you know. But please... You cannot tell a single soul. My lips are sealed tight! Princess Sedlin, can we please have a word? Is it true you're really a princess? This is awful! Grandma is going to be so mad at me! Who could have done this? It can't be Andy, R right? Step away from the princess! Failure to do so will result in heavy consequences! Andy, were you the one who leaked the information? Ouch, Adelyn! You don't trust me that much! Of course I didn't! You're right. I'm sorry. But besides you, I never told anyone else. Hello? Adeline, it's me. I found out what's going on and I know who leaked the information. 
I was Paolo. I never should have trusted him. Listen, I'll deal with this immediately. For right now, just lay low and stay safe. Who was it? My grandma. She knows what's going on and apparently dealing with it. That's good, right? I hope so. Hey, there she is! She's a princess! Like, for real! Everyone keeps staring at us. No, everyone keeps staring at me. I'm sorry about this, Andy. Hey, it's not your fault! On the bright side, bullying hasn't really been a problem! No one wants to be caught poking fun at a princess! Hey! <laughs> Speaking of bullies! What do you want, Denzel? Back off! I'm here for Edelin, not you! Of course you are! Now that she's a princess and all, you've switched up! Listen, Edelin. I've realized I was mistaken for treating you so badly. And I was wondering... If you wanted to come and party at my place. Edelin? You're not seriously going to... I'll go. What?! Cool. Here, give me your number and I'll text you the address. Uh, okay. Awesome! Catch you later! Yeah. Adelyn... Oh, come on, Andy. It'll be fine. It's just one party. I'll be okay. Plus, Denzel was the one who invited me. Okay, but you just... Be careful. Well? Well, he sent me the place, and the day it's on, November 22nd. November 22nd? That's the day Alden's having that concert with his band! Do you forget? Oh shoot, you're right! Yeah, so you can't go. You're right, I can't go. You'll just have to tell Alden that I'm sorry. Yeah, so don't- wait, what? You're not going to support Alden?! He'll have other concerts, right? I'm just going to miss one. Helen! Oh, come on. Let's hurry. We don't want to be late to class. What's happening to her? Ugh. Edelyn, hey! You look amazing! Hey, Edelyn! Everything was going so well. For the first time in my entire life, I was being social. I was like the life of the party, and everyone wanted to talk to me. I wouldn't admit it to Andy, but I really did like being popular. What the heck?! Oh shoot! Eidolon! What happened?! Here! Come with me. I'll show you to the bathroom. Everyone else, mind your own business! Th thank you, Denzel. Don't mention it. Your bodyguard isn't here. Someone's gotta protect you. Um, aren't you dating Cherish? That can change. Here it is. I'll grab you some spare clothes. Just change and wash yourself off and I'll be back, okay? Um, okay. Is everyone ready? Three, two, one! <laughs> this is priceless! <laughs> This is totally going to go viral! <laughs> Those jerks! I knew they pulled something like that! I'm sorry that happened. I should have tried harder to stop you. No, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. I should have been here to support Alden. Will he forgive me? Only time will tell. He was pretty upset when I told him. I don't think he wants to talk to you right now. It took a lot of kindness for him to let you in. I see. It's late. You should get some rest. I'll call your mom and tell her that you're here, okay? Yeah. Thanks, Andy. Of course. What 
were you thinking? How could you be so reckless? Did you forget that you're a princess? It wasn't my fault. Of course it is! Your face is all over the internet! It's going to destroy your reputation! I'm sorry! You are unfit for the throne! Well, I didn't want it anyways! It was you who wanted this, not me! And it wasn't my fault! I just wanted to have fun! I didn't know they were going to humiliate me! Is that a crime? Huh? If I'm so unfit, then fine! I quit! Unbelievable! How can one child be so rude and reckless? Well, that's the exact thing. She's still just a child, and children make mistakes. Don't be too harsh on her. I know you're upset, but it really does seem like she was trying to have some innocent fun. But those other kids set her up. You should talk to her once she cools down. Give her another chance. She's a good girl. Perhaps you're right. I'll go talk to her. Her dinner is getting cold. Well, there's no time like the present, right? She must have cooled down by now. I'll go check up on her. Adeline? I'm sorry for getting upset at you. I didn't consider how you felt. You were raised far more differently than I was, and I forgot you're still just a child, and you are allowed to make mistakes, and this mistake wasn't your fault. You must have been really hurt after it, too, and I'm sorry I blew up on you, even though I don't know what you experienced. I'm sorry. I really didn't know. This has all been really hard for me. And I guess experiencing new feelings and people treating me differently. I just didn't know how to think and act. I made a mistake too. I'm sorry for yelling back at you. It's okay, sweetheart. You are forgiven. In your heart, you are always a princess. You are kind, considerate, and remorseful. And day by day, you are becoming more and more graceful and elegant. I believe in you. So, would you still like to continue? Yes. I still want to continue training to be a proper princess. Brookhaven needs an heir, and a ruler. And that is a job only I can fulfill. I'm so proud of you, Evelyn. You truly are a magnificent princess. Alden? Thank you. Hey, Alden? What? I'm sorry for not keeping my word. I made a huge mistake ditching you for that party. I should have been there to support you, and I was an awful friend for leaving you hanging when I said that I would be there. Can you forgive me? <sighs> Fine, but only if you do one thing for me. Anything. How about we take your car for a test drive? Ice cream on me. Deal. Thanks, Alden, for this ice cream and for forgiving me. I know it must have been hard for you, and I'm sorry for being so cold. It's okay. I mean, you had every right to be. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, go for it. Would you like to come to my official introduction ball? It's this Saturday. Of course, I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'm glad. I'll see you there then. I'm excited to see you there too. Now come on, let me drive you home. I wouldn't want you to miss your lessons. <laughs> Thanks. It has been a long-awaited time, citizens of Brookhaven, but your princess is finally here and ready to claim her title as the Princess of Brookhaven! I proudly present my granddaughter, Princess Evelyn wilson Rinaldi. Thank you for being here, everyone. I am excited to proceed with my duties as your princess. Now please, enjoy the ball. You look even more gorgeous than you did before. You really are an amazing princess. <laughs> Thank you. Edelyn, I love you. W what? I've loved you for a long time, and my eyes have always been for you. Princess or not, you have always been special to me, Edelyn. Alden, <laughs> I love you too. Brookhaven is so lucky to have such a beautiful princess.